Hi children, good morning one and all. I would like to welcome all students of grade 11 for today's video class. Do you know children, today's video class is nothing but a mirror of the past. Yeah, of course. It just reflects ancient and glorious Egyptian civilization. It also focuses on tradition and uh, culture of Egyptians. And more than that, in today's video class, you are also going to learn the king and the kingdom of ancient Egypt. And more than that, children, you are also going to learn their marvelous skill in the art of architecture, their faith and belief on the existence of God. It also brings into light the richness of the royal people of Egypt. They had a strong belief on life after death. After the death, they mummified the dead body and buried in the chamber, that is in the tomb of the pyramids, with a lot of wealth and things they need to lead their life after death. What a belief they had. Yeah, of course. So all these things you are going to learn in today's video class. So I can rightly call today's video class as a mirror of the past. It just reflects the past civilization, that is the Egyptian civilization. Okay children, before to start today's video class, let me give you a brief idea about the author or the writer of this lesson. It is mandatory. Before you learn lesson, you have to know something about the writer. A.R. Williams. Actually, A.R. Williams, for a very long period of time, worked as a senior editor of National Geographic magazine. She wrote on a number of topics which included history and archaeology. She traveled around the world to study and write about the subjects that were dear to her. So she had written many, she had written her good ideas and the ideas she has collected from her wide travel on various subjects. Okay, fine. Next day about the lesson. I would like to give a brief idea about the lesson, what you are going to learn in this lesson. Then it will help you to understand the lesson properly. Okay. Discovering Tut. That's the title. The Saha continues. It's a chapter that gives us an in-depth insight of Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun the last ruler of the powerful Baru dynasty in Egypt. He was a teenager when he died and his death was a mystery. Some speculated that he was murdered. He ruled in Egypt and its empire for centuries. King Tut was a boy king of Egypt who was the last hair of its powerful family. Okay, so in this lesson, Tut was a barrow of ancient Egypt and he lived from 1317 BC to 1352 BC. Tutankhamun, Tutankhamun actually. Tutankhamun. He is generally called Tut, the king of uh, Egypt. Actually, he lived from 1317 BC to 1352 BC. Yeah. He lived from 1317 BC to 1352 BC. His tomb was discovered. His tomb was discovered. His tomb was discovered in 1922. Who had 
did it, who had done it, by the British archaeologist Howard Carter. That was in no way one of the greatest barrow of Egypt. But the discovery of his tomb was an exciting one because this was the only tomb of a pharaoh that had not already been robbed of its treasures. In the tomb were a golden throne, caskets, status, statues, <coughs> priestly stones and furniture. <coughs> okay, fine. <coughs> to, before to start the lesson, let me give you <coughs> answer for a few questions. <coughs> Who was Tut? Tut was the barrow of ancient Egypt. He lived from 1317 BC to 1352 BC. He was the last heir of a powerful family that had ruled Egypt for centuries. His tomb was discovered in 1922. Okay, fine. <coughs> then, Tutankhamun was a barrow of ancient Egypt. Ancient Egyptians gave their kings the title of Pharaoh. Tutankhamun lived from 1300 BC to 52 BC. His original name was actually Tutankhaten. Then why he changed his name? He changed his name to Tutankhamun, which means living image of Amun. A-M-U-N, -A, living image of Amun. It's the name of a god, living Amun. He brought back all the old laws and ways of life. He ruled for about nine years. He ruled for about nine years and uh, then died unexpectedly. He was the last heir of a powerful family that had ruled Egypt for centuries. His death means the end of the dynasty. His death was a big event in the history. It is even thought that he could have been murdered. Okay, with this basic idea about the last heir of uh, the great uh, Egypt dynasty, King Tutankhamun. So this lesson, the entire lesson is knitted around how he was and how he ruled his country. After his death, how he was buried and what happened to him. Everything we are going to learn in this lesson. Okay. Usually, the people of Egypt and the ancient, the tradition, they had their own traditional culture. Egyptians, that is called Egyptian civilization. A few words about Egyptian civilization. Why I would like to say all these words, why I would like to give you a brief idea about all these things which are related with this lesson, then only you can understand this lesson well. Okay, fine children. Egyptian civilization. Egyptian civilization. Do you know where it emerged? The Egyptian civilization, where it grew up. Actually, the Egyptian civilization grew up in the lower reaches of the river Nile. River Nile. So, bed cradle of this Egyptian civilization, cradle of this Egyptian civilization is River Nile. The people of North Africa settled on this fertile tract of land. Water and good soil helped agriculture and a number of crops were grown. Trade flourished along with agriculture. This marked the beginning of a very prosperous civilization which contributed to a rich legacy of art, culture, literature, science and host of invention. So, prosperous civilization, 
the historians, the archaeologist says that the Egyptian civilization is a prosperous civilization, is a rich legacy. The civilization is known for its rich legacy. It is known for its rich legacy. They were good in various fields, art, the Egyptians, art, culture, they were good in various fields, art, culture, literature, science, literature, science and invention. So they were all good in various fields. And Paros, who were Paros? Why we call them as Paros? Paros P H A R A O H S. The kings of ancient Egypt were known as Paros. They enjoyed a great deal of power. People believed that the kings were God. In those days, the kings of Egyptian civilization were called as Pharaohs. They were considered as the living God. People had a good respect and a reverence on this king of the kingdom. Okay, fine. So, Pharaohs is nothing but the king of the ancient Egyptian Egypt civilization and they enjoyed a great deal of power. They had more power. More power was given to these kings and the people considered them as a living God. Then tombs can be pronounced as tombs. What does it mean? Pharaohs were buried inside these pyramids along with many of their worldly possessions and wealth. So what we even such types of atti such attitude, such way of burying the dead bodies, you can find even in the modern world. They used to, to go bury the dead bodies in the separate place allotted for it and they can erect the tombs also just to, to remember or to celebrate the death anniversary of such a great people. So in those days the Pharaohs, the kings of Egypt and civilization, after their death, they were buried in a separate chamber in the pyramids. You know that pyramids is a pyramids is one of the living example for their skill in the architecture. I will show you the picture of the pyramid. See, Egyptian pyramids. So this is Egypt, Egyptian pyramids. It was known for their skill in the art of architecture. In marvelous building, inside uh, this uh, pyramids you can find many chambers. Mostly, the kings were buried inside these pyramids after their death, along with uh, many of their worldly possessions and wealth. Why these people did like this? Why they buried the dead body of their kings uh, with a lot of wealth? Because they believe that these people have life after their death. So they believe that they had a strong belief that these people have life after death. So at the time they need all these things. So they buried the dead bodies of the kings with all these worldly possessions and wealth. And another one, ancient Egyptians believed that they would travel to a new world after death. So when Pharaohs and rich nobles died, their bodies were embalmed. Their bodies were embalmed. See? Their bodies were embalmed and wrapped and wrapped with the bandages and medicines. Why they did like this? To prevent the rotting of the dead body. To prevent the rotting of the dead body. This was known as the process of mummification this is called a mummification the dead bodies are also called mummies 
So this process of keeping this dead body in an embalmed state, using the bandages, wrapped with bandages and medicines to prevent them from rotting is called a mummification, the process. This was known as the process of mummification and the preserved dead body was called a mummy. Uh, it was then uh, placed in a box called a sacrophagus. Actually, sacro pa sacrophagus. So, sacrophagus. They, these dead bodies, after mummifications, they placed in a box called a sacrophagus which was shaped like a human body, which was shaped like a human body. See, this is the process after mummifications, the dead body of the lost king, that is the Dutch, we are going to see in this lesson. It has been mummified in this way and it has been buried so deep into the, uh, where? Yeah, into the chamber of Pyramids. Okay, fine. So the tomb of <coughs> Tutankhamun was discovered in the, that's, that we will see in, the last, in this uh, lesson. So these are all the basic things you should know. So Egyptian civilization is a cult, known for its good culture and it is a rich one. And they developed agriculture and a number of crops were also grown. Trade also flourished along with agriculture and they were good in various fields. These Egyptians were good in various fields and therefore this civilization is called a prosperous civilization. And they had a belief in life after death and they called their kings as sparrows. The kings were given more power. They were considered as a living god by the Egyptians. And uh, after the death of kings, their dead body were preserved and the process of preserving the dead body with the embalmed bandages and medicines is called the process of mummification. Why they did it? Just to prevent the dead bodies from rotting. After doing all these things only, they buried the dead body so deep into the chamber of the permits, that is tomb. And it had been kept preserved there for a long time, years together, years together, hundreds of years. And more than that, it is very difficult to touch these dead bodies because they used to bury these dead bodies so deep into the chamber and it has been fully covered. And this process is called a mummification, the dead body is called a mummy. Okay, you have to keep all these words, glossaries in your memory children. It will help you to understand this lesson properly. And they, the dead bodies after mummification were placed in a box called a sacrophagus, sacrophagus, okay, which was shaped like a human body, like a human body. Egypt is, now the country Egypt is located mostly in the northern part of African continent, you have to understand. Egypt is located mostly in the northern part of African continent. As ancient Egyptian rules, the pharaohs were both heads of the state and religious leaders of their people also. So ancient Egyptian rulers, they were called pharaohs as I told you already. They were both the heads of state and the religious leaders. The king of the Egyptians, the king of Egypt civilization, they were the head. Head head of the country, they were the head of the country, they were the religious leaders, they were religious leaders, both are to be taken into account. And ancient Egyptians ruled Sepharos were both uh, <coughs> heads of state and religious leaders of their people. The word Paro means great house, you know that, do you know that meaning? You should know the meaning. P H A R A O H Paro. What does it mean? It means great house. 
Yeah, great house. Actually, there is a meaning. Great house in the sense means a reference to the palace. A reference to the palace where the barrow resides. Palace where the palace where the barrows resides. Okay. So the name is associated associated with this. And uh, shall we go now into the lesson? You should know who was that. As I have given a brief introduction, Tutan common, commonly referred to as King Tut, was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was the last of his uh, royal family to rule during the end of the 18th dynasty, during the New Kingdom Egyptian history. He was generally called by the historians as a boy king, the ruler of Egypt who died before he was 20. His father was Baro Akhenaten. Okay, see, he was a young. He became to the power when he was so young. He ruled the country for almost about nine years. The ruler of the Egypt, that is a boy king, he was generally called Tut. A yeah, boy king. Because he came to the power when he was a very young boy. And he ruled the country for nine years. And the ruler of the Egypt was died before he was 20. Okay. King Tut was born circa 130-40 BC in ancient Egypt. He was given the name Tutankhaten, meaning the living image of Aten. Actually, how he was called by his parents? How he was called by his parents? Tutankhaten. This was, he was called by his parents such a way what is the meaning of this word? Living image of Aten. Living image of Aten. Living image of Aten. After taking power, the boy king changed his name to Tutankhamun. Actually, he changed his name after taking the power. Tutankhamun. Why he changed? What does it mean? He changed his name to Tutankhamun, which means the living image of Amun. Living image. Living image of Amun. Amun. Living image of Amun. King Tut was the son of a powerful Ahanatan, also known as Haman of Four. Because Tutankhaten was just 9 years old when he assumed the power in 1332 BCE. Okay. His uh, father, he was a powerful barrow. His name was, mind the spelling, A-K-H-E-N, A-K-H-E-N, A-T-E-N. Okay. Akhenaten. A Hainaten, a Hainaten, you can call like this. He was also known as Amanat of Four. He was also called a Amanat of Four. His uh, forefather, that is his grandfather was Amanat of Three. And uh, Tutankhaten, actually Tutankhaten was just nine years old. He was nine years old. The king that was nine years old when he assumed power in 1300 BC. 1332 BC when he assumed his power. Then how he died? How he died? Just he ruled his country for nine years only. Then he died. Research death of Tutankhaten. How he died? Death. Research suggests King Tut died circa 1323 BC. 1323 BC. Research 
research reports suggest that king tut died on 1323 bc from a cancrin infection from a g a n g r e n e from a cancrin infection at the age of 19 at the age of 19 the infection was possibly the result of a broken king early investigations pointed to bone fragments in tutankhamun's skull found bone fragments that was the reason for his death medical report says bone fragments in tutankhamun's skull to propose the theory that he died from a blow due to a heavy blow on the head by political rivals so he was murdered he was assassinated he was killed by his political rivals by beating him so hard at the skull so bone fragments at the skull was the main reason for his death some historians some research says like that however a full scan of his body in 2006 to find the answer for all this mystery about his death they just went for a full scan of his dead body it was done in 2006 found a damage to king dad's skull occurred after his death due to bad handling of his mummy but the ct scan says that that king dad's skull had a heavy had a sustained heavy damage after his death only that too due to the bad handling of his mummy who did all these things how they took out the dead body of the dad from his chamber what happened all these things we are going to see in this lesson ahenaten had tried to focus egyptian religion around the worship of the aten the sun disk going to so far as to destroy images of other gods student common was trying to undo these changes and return egypt back to its traditional religion with its mix of gods that's the greatest things okay children i hope all of you had received a great deal of the basic things of this ancient egyptian civilizations when it where it flourished when it came into existence how the kings of the egyptian civilization were called what titles were given to them how they were viewed by the people what were pyramids where were they constructed and what was tomb during the living time how the kings were revered by the people after their death how the dead body was buried and how they were why did they call the mass mummy what they did so many things you have learned before you really start this lesson so this historical backdrop helps you to understand this lesson well that's the thing that in the from the beginning of this video class i told you this video class is nothing but a mirror of the past it just reflects the past the one of the glorious ancient prosperous civilization that is egyptian civilization yeah now take the textbook children the real entry is going to take place now only discovering that discovering that the saha continues okay see before to do that just to view this pictures ancient pyramids which was constructed and erected by the great egyptians and it shows how good they were in the skill of architecture still it is a mysterious one to the modern architecture and even the modern architectural people and experts of modern architecture wondered how they did it in those days 
they constructed this uh, pramits in such a way so it made everyone to raise their eyebrows and this was the mummification of the last ruler of the egyptian dynasty the dat tutankhamun see how they mummified the dead body of the king dat okay fine now come to the lesson children page number turn to the page number 22 first paragraph discovering that the saha continues ar williams okay fine he here he stands for the king tut was just a teenager when he died so tutankhamun also known as tut was in his teen age when he died the last heir of a powerful family that had ruled egypt and its empire for centuries actually that was the last king he was the last one in the heir of a powerful family the pharaohs they ruled the egypt for centuries so tutankhamun was the last of a ruling dynasty ruling dynasty he died very young only 9 years after he came to the throne he was uh, laid to rest so the last ruler heir of a powerful family he belongs to such aristocratic family his ancestors were powerful kings of egyptian civilization they ruled the kingdom they ruled the egypt for many centuries and of course he was the last king of that powerful dynasty and he was the one who died at his teen age just 9 years after assuming his power he was laid to rest laden with the gold and eventually forgotten to tutankhamun was the last of ruling dynasty he died very young only 9 years so what happened ancient egyptians believed that they would travel to a new world after death so when pharaohs and rich nobles died their bodies were embalmed and wrapped with the bandages and medicines to prevent rotting this was known as the process of mummification they did the same thing for the king also so his dead body was rest was laid to rest it was buried how they buried laden here laden with means heavily loaded with gold and they buried the dead body and they erected a tomb that saw the king and his noble deeds were forgotten by the people since the discovery of his tomb in 1922 it was discovered after a long gap his dead body was discovered how long see after a long time like other baro student common was also laid on rest buried heavily loaded with gold and at last he was forgotten after about 3300 years after about 3300 years his tomb was discovered in 1922 since then the modern world which made the world rise a question about what happened to him and whether he had been murdered so when his uh, tomb was discovered by the archaeology department of britain during the year 1922 it leads to many millions of questions when his dead body was taken out from his tomb the modern world has speculated speculated means they formed an opinion speculated means formed an opinion about something which knowing all details what they speculated about what happened to him because he was died at his teen age he died just after 9 years of his assuming the powers whether the king was murdered being the most extreme possibility when his dead body was taken out from his chamber 
and when it was put into trials examinations it gave a lot of answers to the questions as well as it raised many questions uh, how he wa how he died whether he had been murdered after almost 80 years his body was about to undergo a ct scan which would give new information and clues about his life and death see let me read out the lines speculated about what happened to him with the murder being the most extreme possibility but many people come to a conclusion that he might have been murdered because the way it has been buried shows that the king might have been murdered and political rivals may be the cause for such things now leaving his tomb for the first time in almost 80 years after 80 years when his tomb was discovered by the british archaeologist after 80 years the king's dead body has undergone a ct scan that offers new clues and ideas when his dead body was undergone a ct scan it gave it gave clues and it gave answer for million dollar questions about his life and death how many years he had been living in this world how he died was it a natural death or has had he been murdered all these questions were raised and answer for all these questions were found out when his dead body was undergone a ct scan so provides a precise data for an accurate forensic reconstruction forensic reconstruction what do you mean by such forensic reconstruction let me give you the meaning for such things forensic reconstruction see forensic reconstruction actually it means connected with the scientific test to solve a crime connected with the scientific test connected with the scientific test to solve a crime to solve a yeah, crime and reconstruction means activity of building again this is forensic then reconstruction mean activity reconstruction means activity of building again activity of building activity of building again something that has been damaged uh, again something that has been damaged okay so when his uh, dead body had undergone a ct scan it gave a lot of clues and it uh, offers a new ideas about his life and death normally doctors use this ct scan report for to identify the cause for diseases and they want to know the magnitude of the diseases they have to depend upon the ct scan it gives a clear report the area affected by the disease nowadays even this uh, covid 19 it has been spread out widely so just to know or to uh, to calculate or to identify exact the result of this covid 19 they have to depend upon this ct scan how much the lungs of the person was affected the magnitude of the disease so in those days the ct scan after the ct scan report the experts the archaeology departments the historians made an accurate forensic reconstruction it helped them of the boy's parrows forensic reconstruction so his face would be recreated his face would be recreated 
the face of king tut recreated r e c r e a t d with the help of a procedure that procedure is called a forensic reconstruction that's all so it is an activity of building again something that has been damaged or destroyed okay so now let me sum up the first paragraph so he was a teenager when he died king that died at the age, at his young age he was a lost heir of a powerful family he was a lost king of that powerful royal family and those his ancestors had ruled egypt and its empire for many centuries and after his death he was uh, laid to rest like other how what they did after the death of uh, kings they were buried in the chamber so he too was laid to rest means ch- they buried how they buried heavily loaded with gold laden see like the paris the tomb was also laid and rest buried heavily loaded with gold and they buried the king with a lot of the things i will give you the list of things which were buried with the dead body of a king that because they thought that after his death he will have a life at the time he need all those things therefore they buried the king that with all the things used to buy him and the discovery of his tomb was first discovered in the year 1922 his the discovery helped the modern world and uh, to raise a question sir uh, how he died what how it happened when with the murder being the most extreme possibility finally they come they came to a conclusion that murder he must, might have been murdered because he died at the young age now leaving his tomb for the first time in almost 80 years after 80 years since then the modern world which made the world to rise about what happened to him so after almost 80 years his body after 80 years that had been undergone a ct scan his body was about to undergo a ct scan which would give new information and clues about his life and death and more than that his face would be recreated with the help of a date with the help of a device that is a forensic reconstruction of the boy is paro i hope you could understand the first paragraph of this lesson well now shall we switch over to the second paragraph yeah i will read each and every word of each every in paragraph and i will give you the meaning for hard words i will explain each and every word and uh, then you can understand the total content of the paragraph well okay fine children second paragraph in the second paragraph what does the writer say an angry wind stirred up ghastly dust devils as king tut was taken from his resting place in the ancient egyptian cemetery known as the valley of the kings you might have studied all these things in the ghast stories when the dead body of somebody is touched by someone else immediately the evil ghost will come out of that dead body and it will do many harmful things to the person who has disturbed the dead body that was the old blind beliefs and conservative ideas of the people that also happened when the dead body of the king that was touched by the archaeology department people what happened a fast strange and unnatural wind was blowing a fast strange and unnatural wind was blowing as king's deaths as king dad's body was taken from his grave called valleys of the kings an ancient egyptian cemetery the location of the valley of the kings okay so dark cloud for an angry wind fast strange unnatural wind it is stirred up it is stirred up it blew so fast it produces ghastly dust everywhere the dust was formed by the speedy and strange and unnatural wind 
because the king that was taken from his resting place when the dead body of the king that was taken from his dead body immediately a strange and unnatural wind a forceful wind started to blow and it produces such a ghastly dust no one could see clearly such a dust it just stirred up the upper layer of the soil then what happens a ghastly dust formed because the king dutch dead body was touched by the archaeology department people and they took it out from the resting place the resting place the place where the king's dead body was buried is called egyptian cemetery the known as the valley of the kings valley of the kings is a burial ground is a place where the king's dead bodies were buried after their death and what there after what happened dark clouds dark bellied clouds had skewed it across the desert sky all day and now were wailing the stars in casket grey what does it mean dark bellied means clouds bulging clouds clouds with full of water bulging and the swelling clouds bulging and the swelling clouds is called a dark bellied clouds these dark clouds moved formed and moved quickly where it moved across the desert all day long when his dead body was touched a heavy wind starts to blow the archaeology people to their surprise they didn't know what what was happening or what happened when they touched the dead body immediately the wind starts to blow and ghostly dust was formed then they looked at the sky a dark they looked at the sky dark bellied bulging swelling clouds formed skewed it across means they moved quickly see i'll write the meaning for such words on the board children then you can easily understand see yeah dark belly dark belly actually what does it means dark belly means bulging and swelling clouds bulging and swelling clouds these clouds were formed dark clouds and swelling clouds were formed and they skewed it across skewed it skewed it skewed it across what does it means they moved quickly they moved quickly and they moved quickly across all the desert during the day time and later they covered the stars also all day and now what wailing wailing means covered wailing means covered the stars how they covered the stars in casket gray means gray sky gray sky <coughs> casket gray means casket gray gray sky gray sky so they covered gray sky and dark bellied clouds had skewed it across gray it was 6 pm on january 5 2005 it was 6 pm 6 pm on it was 6 pm on january 5 2005 okay january 2005 the world's most famous mummy glided head first into a ct scanner brought here to probe the lingering medical mysteries of this uh, little understood ang ruler who died more than 3300 years ago so a wrong dust wind was blowing when king 
that was taken from his ancient resting place known as the valley of the kings it is a place near luxor actually this place is near luxor in southern egypt luxor it's in nearby southern egypt the valley of the king okay it is located is a place where many egyptian kings were buried that's why it is called the valley of the kings it was 6 am on january 5 2000 dark clouds had been floating on the sky all day now they had covered the stars the world's most famous mummy was put into city scanner it was gilded it was gilded most of all the head covered with the gold the world's most famous mummy glided head glided head she fully covered glided head fully covered with the gold First in the city scanner. See, I will show you the picture. See this picture. Can you see how it has been mummified? The king, the dead body of the king, that. See the head, fully glided. So fully gilded means heavily loaded with the gold. Heavily loaded with the gold. Okay. And. Uh, it was brought ct scanner the head first into ct scanner when it was scanned by the ct scanner bro means examine it it thoroughly examined the lingering persisting still continuing medical mysteries of this little understood young ruler who died more than 300 1300 years ago the mystery of the young ruler who had died more than 3300 years ago the tomb where this mummy had been lying was discovered in 1922 by an english man so let me sum up when the dead body was taken out from his resting place that is the burial ground which was called the valley of the king actually where was it located it was near by the luxor of the southern egypt And there was a place where the king's dead bodies after their death were buried and when the dead body was taken from his cemetery from his chamber when the king dead's dead body was touched immediately to everyone's surprise a fast strange forceful and unnatural wind was blowing which formed a heavy dust the dust of devils was formed so no one could see everywhere everywhere there was the dust was formed by the forceful wind and not only that dark bellied clouds dark huge bulgy clouds were also formed and they moved so fast scudded across the desert sky throughout the desert you can see the great movement of the dark clouds here and there and not only in the daytime in the night they just hid away the stars in the gasket gray means gray sky gray sky and almost it was 6 pm on 5th january 2005 the world's most mummy gilded head heavily loaded with gold covered with gold coverings was put into ct scanner and the ct scanner starts to scan and the first ct scanner report gave a lot of answer bro examined still continuing the medical mysteries what happened how they did it the medical mystery the answer for such medical mystery was found out little understood the young ruler so all these ct scan report helped the medical professionalist experts archaeology experts and the historians to find the answer to know the answer for the great mystery how this little understood young ruler who died more than 3300 years ago okay fine then third paragraph All afternoon the usual line of tourists 
from around the world had descended into the cramped rocket tomb some 26 feet underground to pay their respect when people who were living all around those area came to know that the dead body of the king their ancient king was taken out for CT scan people rushed to the spot they want to pay their homage to their king they want to know what was happening how they took out the dead body from the chamber how they did scanning Every, they want to know everything out of their curiosity the entire place was crowded by the people so all afternoon the usual line of tourists all after tourists visited the 26 feet deep underground rock cut tomb rock cut tomb so the people tourist visited 26 feet deep underground rock cut tomb why they visited they want to know what was going on there they want to know how they took out the dead body how they did the scanning of the dead body everything they want to know they want to view and uh, apart from that they want to pay respect to their king so usual line of tourists from around the world they had descended they rushed to the spot and into the cramped actually rocket tomb some 26 feet underground so they just went down to see to pay their homage and the respect to the ancient king they gasped at the murals the drawings which were done on the walls of the chambers when the people went so deep into the chamber it was 26 feet they just went down to see what was going on how they built up the chamber they want to know the position of the chamber they want to know how was it constructed they want to know the secrecy of the construction and also they want to know their due respect to their king therefore they went down to the see the rocket doom some 26 feet underground and there to their surprise they gasped the murals on the walls they noticed the beautiful drawings drawn on all the walls of the chamber it attracted their attention they gasped steadily looked at the morals on the walls of the burial chamber and bead steadily looked that's glittered face they just noticed without making any noise they steadily looked at the gilded face of the king the most striking feature of his mummy shaped mummified mummy shaped outer coffin lid so how the lid was made and how the mummy shaped body was covered some visitors read from guidebooks in a whisper some guidebooks were kept there in the chamber some visitors read from the guidebooks and they understood how it had been done but they did it without making any noise others stood silently others just mere watched perhaps they remembered bondering that's untimely death in his last teens or wandering with the shiva the barrow's curse but some people without disturbing anything without taking anything without doing anything they just stood and watched they played the role of a mere participants that's all they didn't do anything because they remembered if they do anything then they will be subjected to the curse of the pharaohs the curse they have they will be subjected to the curse they don't want to be cursed by the pharaohs because they don't want them to be disturbed by the people so death or misfortune falling upon those who disturbed him that was the blind belief of the people in those days so some people remembered such things therefore they didn't want to disturb the peaceful sleep of those kings therefore they just stood and merely observed what was going on how the archaeology people 
were doing their research, their examination, and really true. So all afternoon, tourists visited the 26 feet deep underground rocket tomb to pay their respect to the king. Many people stuffed into the small tomb. Many people just stuffed into that small tomb. They want to know out of their curiosity and looked in admiration. Wow! How these drawings were made, drawn at the murals on the walls of the chamber and took a look of the face of the dead, the lost king that had been painted with gold, gilded with gold, while visitors read guidebooks also in a hushed tone. They didn't talk much, loudly. Some stood silently, wondering about his untimely death in his teen age, teen years. They might also be wondering if the curse of the barrow which leads to the descent of his misfortune upon the person who disturbs him is true. All that afternoon on January 5th, 2005, before the mummy was brought for CT scan, so tourists from around the world had come to visit the tomb. It was about 26 feet underground. It was a rock cut tomb. Tourists looked with wonder on the walls of the burial chamber and at its gilded face. The most striking thing was the outer lid of the coffin that was shaped like the mummy itself. That is very important. The outer coffin. See the outer lid of the coffin. Look his line. Shaped outer coffin lid. So the lid of the coffin that was shaped like the mummy itself. Some visitors read from the guide books in the whisper. There was a curious superstition about the tomb of Tutankhamen. It was said that according to the Pharaohs, curse, death or misfortune would befall those who disturbed him. People who had broken it open had committed an unholy act. That was a curious superstition which was believed by the people. They had such a superstitious belief and conservative ideas they had developed within their mind. So what they believed, if anyone disturbed the kings from their silent sleep, people who had broken it open, they had committed an unholy act, unholy act. Some of the tourists wondered if the story Paro's curse was really true. Some tourists believed that also they will be subjected to the curse of the kings. So Lord Hannah Warren, who was the leader of the team that had discovered that tomb, died from a mosquito bite and pneumonia five months after the finding of the tomb. It was a general belief. This is for your kind information, children. Actually, these informations are rarely collected. So the Lord, Lord Carnarvon, Carnarvon, actually who was the leader of this team, that had discovered that tomb died from a mosquito bite and a pneumonia five months after the finding of the tomb. So, so far now, you have learned all the three, first three paragraphs of this lesson and you have got a lot of information from these three paragraphs and today I have shared with you the detailed history past history, ancient history of Egyptian civilization. So all those things might have been helpful to you to understand this lesson well. And the remaining things we will continue in the next video class. Till that children, we just uh, have a glance of the text, go through the lines of the text, understand and reproduce. And if it is possible, just have a talk with your parents and you just uh, narrate. What you have learned from this lesson, really then they will be happy. You just made your parents to sit and you can make them to listen to you. You can share what you have learned from today's video class with your parents, with your sisters, with your brothers. It will amuse them really because it was an ancient story. Okay children, stay safe at home. Thank you children. Have a nice day.